Welcome to Beagle Hardware's tutorial video about how to connect an Epson POS serial printer to your computer. Your printer will connect to the computer with a serial cable. The serial cable will have a 25-pin male connector that plugs into a 25-pin female connector on the back of your POS printer. The other end will have a 9-pin DB25 female connector that plugs into your computer. The computer will also have a 9-pin DB9 male connector. Make sure you have your printer, your point-of-sale cashier PC, and the serial cable. Also, if you haven't already, install the connected serial adapter into the back of your Epson printer with two screws. You must use a null modem type cable like this to connect the printer to your computer. This type of cable is not a straight through type cable. Some of the connections are crossed. If you need to convert your printer with an RJ11 connector, so the Ethernet connection will work. It should look like this. Next, you will need to run a self-test on your printer to see all the current settings. Run the self-test by simply holding down the feed button while turning on the printer. The printer will print a list of initial settings including baud rate, data bits, parity, stop bit, and flow control. These values will be needed later when you configure the serial port in Windows. Check the POS application to determine what the port settings should be on the computer. The POS application in the printer must have the same baud rate, data bits, parity, and stop bit for the printer to print legibly. Also, the handshaking must be set the same for the printer to print at all. You can change the interface settings on the printer using the dip switches on the underside of the printer, shown here. See the support page or beaglehardware.com for your printer's specific settings. Also, if you change the dip switches, run the self-test again. Your serial port is called a COM port. You need to verify that this COM port is installed. To do this, go to your control panel, click Systems, then Hardware, then Device Manager, and finally check the Ports tab to verify the COM port you are using. After downloading the driver installer from Epson, the drivers need to be unpacked before the installer can run. The installer will walk you through selecting the model and interface you are installing in Windows. Next, press the Add button to add the new printer to Windows. Choose the Epson model of the printer installed from the pull-down menu and choose the type of interface in use, Serial, for the port type. Insert the baud, bits, flow control, and parity settings from the printer obtained in the self-test above. Also, select the number of the COM port on your computer. The installer will now summarize the drivers selected. You can back up and change the drivers here, if necessary. The drivers will now be installed with the model and the port selected. Check the driver installation in Windows by opening the printer in the Windows Printer folder. Select the Ports tab. Enter the same settings you printed out in the adapter self-test. We recommend that you turn off the bi-directional printing option on the ports screen. After installing the drivers, your printer should be visible in the printers folder in the Windows control panel. You should now be ready to test the printer. Print some text by pressing the print test page button in the general tab of printer properties. Congratulations. You are now done learning how to configure your serial printer. Thanks for watching our video and check out www.beaglehardware.com for more support tips.